Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day out there. I went out today. So, should I talk about uh, something I did today? I went out, played a little ping pong and played, did some juggling for people. <laughs> Went to a show at the deck with a, a couple different people I went down there with. And, uh, no, we're not putting this one on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm not good with things. I am just not good. I don't know how to make a good decision in my life. I don't know how to talk to people appropriately. I don't know how to make things happen in my life. The things I want. So I end up just moping about it. Moping, moping, moping. I didn't do what... I, or I messed up, I messed up. Not, I didn't do something wrong, I just... Messed up, I didn't... Yeah, at the show, um, you know, I didn't really talk to too many people there at all. A couple people. And God's kind of got a little energy sink on me. If they don't like what I'm doing... I should have just stayed and juggled for kids, but then they say, well, they don't, don't really want you there either. There's no real, there's no real place for me to go. Uh, I don't know how to make my life better without, you know, I don't know if it's even possible. doesn't really matter how talented or smart you are. Here's some people here we can say hi to. There's my little water fountain down there. I don't know if this will go on YouTube or not. Let's see what these guys are. Hi guys. Howdy, sir. How you doing? How's the day? I, I like to go for a little walk and talk. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> right. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice day. Out of the wind and everything calms down a little. Yeah, that's why I like uh, this little root here out of yeah. the wind. Yeah. yeah. The same way. And the, uh, the snow and ice give it its unique beauty compared to. It is summer. a unique beauty. Yeah. There is that little phase where it gets a uh, little muddy, little uh, slippery, yeah. little. Yeah, <laughs> in between time. Right yeah. in betweens. Yeah. Everything starts melting and then get in the shadow of the valley and freezing. And downhill. Supposedly we're supposed yeah. to have like record floods this year because of how much snow we've had. Really? So, yeah. Huh. I'll take it when it comes. Yeah. Are you on a call? Is that what that is? No, I uh, I record myself just gotcha. for um, gotcha. mental health stuff. Like yeah, I talk yeah, about my problems. No, and I sense. put them on, like I'll put them on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. So. I was going to say, like if you're in the middle of a call. I'm not on a call. <laughs> a call from God. How about that? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll let you keep that. Yeah. Absolutely. Have a nice day, guys. Yeah, Have a nice day. day. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't feel that great today because I feel like I'm really making blunders. Blundering hard. I don't know if this video is going to get up on YouTube or not, so... God says you can if you want. Nobody, doesn't really matter, I don't think. I watched a video where the guy <laughs> said, his schizophrenic episodes, he says, the voice tells him this and that. And I go, I can't repeat back what they tell me. And if I try to tell that guy, yeah, that's the God within or whatever. I don't know what, see, that's the thing. <laughs> About mental, this was different. I never heard any voices. It was a, uh, you know, because because of the way my mind works, 
I want to figure stuff out. And so when God started talking to me, they said, what was your intuition? And it's uh, yeah, I don't know, a little different. Uh, someone recommended, uh, said, don't say that. Keep it general. Okay, a guy wrote a book about how he talked to God. He said, might as well just say the name, Conversations with God. But it's not like an entity. It's not like, it's more the thing. I, I call it the spirit within, around us, with us. Yeah, I didn't listen to the whole thing. It's eight hours, but I, the first thing he said was that uh, life is not about you. <laughs> I said, God's never told me that. Uh, they tell me, but it's all personalized. They always say like, you know, is this benefiting? Because it's all personalized to us, you know. So what his problems were is different than mine. So God's going to talk to him a different way. They told me they want to give me the belief system that is the closest to what the truth is. But they also said uh, that's not, uh, people are not going to like that one. Let's just say that. They don't go, that's a great belief system. <laughs> and they, Hello, sir. <laughs> Hope you have a great day. You. Have a great day. <laughs> just, I just show him just so people don't think I'm just saying dumb. Yeah, I, I can't believe how many comments they say, and that's schizophrenic, where they go, he's faking it. like, whoa, no, he's not. They're really hearing voice. It's in their mind. Yeah, and they don't have control over it. So that's that's what I say. God, you know, when I say God uh, talks to me, it's like I thought I don't have any control over it. And then, like, they can speak however they want, and they usually speak... Uh, they're usually correcting me. Usually it's like a correcting... Yeah, because they taught me a lot of lessons, you know, getting me out of my little bubble. Of... Yeah. But they can't just solve everything, you know. People got to get out and do the work. Whatever that is. Do what makes you happy. Get out and do what makes you happy. He says, is this making you happy, Steve? <laughs> yeah, they'll always kind of question me like that. Can't repeat that one, God. Wherever you are. Now they're they're yeah, screaming up at the sky like, we hear you. Okay. God, hear our prayer. God, how many times do you have to say that? They're like, we hear it. We hear it. We hear it. We hear it. In fact, they know what you're thinking. They know what's in your heart because they always... They say, we know what you want. We know what you're thinking. We know. They usually don't like to give me psychic information, but they can. Because they'll say, well, we know what she's thinking. Um, and sometimes they'll tell me. But they also want me to make good decisions. So it's not always about telling me what to do. Tell me what to do, God. Tell me what to do. They don't like that. They want people to make good decisions that benefit themselves and others. You know, it's not just about us. They go, there we go. Because I said, God, you never told me uh, life wasn't about me. They said, life's not about you. There, we told you. Happy? <laughs> yeah, they kind of have a joke like that. Do I have anything interesting to say? Some people think everything I say is interesting. Like I'm that interesting. I'm that wonderful all the time. I'm super interesting and wonderful world. 
I like being around people, but I also like my uh, personal space. So I don't know. Like to, if there's something that makes you feel good if you're liked and loved by other people. But I like to talk about our, how our minds, you know, do we have a mind? Do we have our own? I think we have our thought, but, but God, this is the weird thing. God can, <laughs> like we can put our phone on silent. God can put our mind on silent. It's, Here comes a wonderful little doggy. What a wonderful dog you have there, sir. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate you. Hi. Hi. Like they for a walk, yeah. huh? The wind finally settled down. Yeah, have a great day. You too, man. Yeah, at one point during the enlightenment phase, if I looked, even looked at a dog, this was after this pet psychic phase they'd tell me to bark off how about that the nice version but i like to compliment if someone has a dog like they have a great dog i love to give them a, love giving compliments not enough though i don't know I keep putting, yeah, when I was at that, um, uh, it was like a car show in Duluth. I said, do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I had this kind of conversation, like, um, they just want me getting out of my bubble, kind of like, just ask the woman for her number. Like, they go, yeah, she's going to say no, but uh, people do that. They just, it's just... Because they said, like, if you want it, then ask. Don't, they said, why are you trying to figure her out? Trying to figure out what she wants. Just say what you want. You know, that's, I don't know. See, there, I mean, there's, it's so complicated. And it, I did watch another video where a guy said, like, see, if you see a nice woman, you want to, you know, he's at a dance. Uh, just ask her on a dance. Yeah, if that's what you want to do. Otherwise, God will help me do it. <laughs> they'll say, get on up there. And they'll start having me walk. And they go, okay. They didn't control my voice or anything. so. But they will direct me where to walk. But they're not um, a director. 13 minutes. 13 minutes. What were, what were we talking about? How I've... Man, I just feel like I'm messing up all the time. Man, oh man. Like I'm just not on the right path. And I'm just not making the right decisions. And I... I feel bad. They said, this is what God said, like, you know, I feel bad about things. Like if uh, I don't accomplish, so, someone wants something, I can't give it to them. But other people don't feel bad if they do something to me. Like my parents don't feel bad. That woman does not feel bad. Had me, her family had me that judge, the lawyer, all those people, they don't feel bad. God's saying, how do you know that? <laughs> Maybe they do. And then I said, of course they don't, but they got to kind of give me heck about it. They're never going to apologize about that. I don't know if I can ever accomplish anything. It doesn't matter how talented I am. It's not, it's kind of like I don't have my own stage. I don't have my own, I don't know even know how to make it happen. I mean, it's kind of all new too, because I didn't change till last September.
departure, departing for heaven. Yeah, should we? I don't know. It's, it's, they're like, do you think that you want? Because like, as soon as I think about something, they're like, are you sure you want to talk about that? Yeah, about comment sections. They said you're not going to solve anything in there. And then people are just going to misinterpret what you say anyway. And they'll, they'll call me a liar. And because if I say something, they don't. I'm like, but I'm not intentionally deceiving. I'm just saying something they don't believe in. So... We're not going to bring up an example. Not even what, who said it or what. But uh, that's why I usually like um, open-minded people because, you know, they'll say, well, that's your perspective or that's your belief or whatever. Hopefully they find it interesting. That's what I thought when I was uh, more into uh, Jesus if someone said something, then I'd just go look it up and try to figure out what it meant. And, you know, there's always going to be different interpretations of a saying. That's why I, I ask God about interpretations. So, like the, what is it, the, if someone slaps you on one cheek, turn the other cheek. And I was like, what does that even mean? Does anyone even know what that means? And then I heard different interpretations. There's, I don't know how many there are, but more than one. For sure. They're, they're giving me a hard time for bringing that up. But they said, just might as well just say it. No? Yeah, they said, uh, just it, it's more about returning favors. That's what they told when I asked them. So, someone pats you on the back, pat them, pat them back. I don't know. Does that make sense? I have no clue. It's one interpretation, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I, I said, I said, uh, this is, they're like, eh. really? Can I say it or no? I'll try to say it and see if they censor me. How about that? I said, gee, I, I wish there was a hell for bad people to go to. And then they said, you'd be going to hell <laughs> if there was a hell. And yet, if I, I, I told that to, um, on the podcast, Jeff Myers podcast, he said, you wouldn't go to hell. You're a nice person. I go, yeah, but it's like, <clears throat> On some interpretations, like, you know, I've said mean things or something like that or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. We're all thought criminals. How about that? Everyone's a thought criminal. Everyone's had a bad thought. There you go. In my mind, I'm a murderer, right? You know, in my... Although no one's ever died in my dreams. I've never... No one's ever... Like... In one vivid dream, my cousin, should we talk? I said, sure. Yeah, I, back, this is before the Enlightenment, but they started changing my dreams. I, I couldn't believe how vivid these were. My cousin got sucked into this um, wood chipper on the side of the road. He's like doing construction work, cleaning off the side of the road. And he died, in, in real life, he died from an overdose. And I, I just interpreted it as he got sucked into something, you know, people... Uh, there's people where I live and they've died from overdose. Yeah, so they just... I'm guessing they don't think it's going to be fatal. That's what I think. And they get sucked in. They don't think it's going to be dangerous. And then they die. That's what I think happens. I don't think they think ahead of time this is going to kill me. So... God does not like my video right now. <laughs> I didn't... Maybe, should I ask for God channeling? I don't feel very good. I feel... Because I feel like I'm making so many errors and mistakes. That's just how I am. I, I kind of get overwhelmed because I... Like, some people say, oh, it's not a big deal. It's like... <sighs> maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. But it's not, I don't feel like I'm making good decisions in my life. I don't, but I, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes errors. It's just, how do they, how do they uh, feel about it? How do they recall? Oh, we got the doggy there again. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you man, you seem like a great guy. Just to let you know that. Thank you. Yeah. A wonderful day. How much of that dog in the window? Ruff, ruff. God helps me then. Uh, God helps me sp speak very fluently. Uh, and I speak, uh, 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 I, today I said, God, can you make me stutter? And they go, uh, I think you make it stutter a little bit. Just make it do a little stutter, stutter. They can, because I thought, like, why do people have stutters? You know, like, all these questions. Like, God can help people speak more fluently and sound more intelligent and use words that make them sound wonderful, don't they? Or they can make them sound like, I'm just, I'm just out for a walk. I'm just, you know, drunk, but I'm out for a walk. Yeah, so they can, like, I was like, yeah, I mentioned that in the last video. They could make people just spill the beans on something. Hi. <laughs> Should we do juggling with these guys? Let's, let's try it. Let's see what we're well, this is uh, what I do is I, uh, I bring out juggling balls and I just start juggling for people. Well, it seems like you're pretty good at it too. Yeah, I, I work on it every single day and uh, and I like to tell people that like God uh, changed me as a person so they made it easier for me to do. I still mess up though, but they made it easier, let's just say easier to do. I don't know. Yeah, that's how I know you. I ran into you at Newman like... What was that? Two months ago? Three months ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were in the base. Yeah, and I started it. telling people about like, God changing me and stuff like that. And like, God's like, well, that's kind of like their area. Yeah, you're always welcome yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You're always, always welcome. welcome. Well, maybe they'll come up one night. What, what night do you usually... Uh, well, I'm there? there, hit or miss. There's no yeah. guarantees. Yeah, we've graduated by now. But, yeah. yeah, but see, it's like I got to like, kind of like get approval by God kind of thing. Like, yeah. They're like, uh, we don't think you should go there. Because that's welcome. why they said, well, you could... They, they usually say, like, you could do this, you give me options, yeah. but they're not telling me to do it or not do it type of thing. Yeah. So. Well, Thursday nights are usually kids there. They have a massive meal. They have that's food the, afterwards. Uh, that's at the cathedral. Okay, well, cathedral over on 4th Street. If I can find it, it's nearby there, isn't it? Yeah. Cathedral's pretty easy to be far. Yeah. Uh, is our lady of the rosary? Yeah. Right by Chester, uh, Cogden, Cogden Park. Creek. So maybe I'll uh, yeah, swing by there. Yeah. Thursday night. It's usually uh, good food. Yeah. yeah, and I and I'm kind of a comedian, and so uh, people I talk about God and uh, I meet Satanists, and they'd say, "Hail Satan!" So I'd say, "Hail Mary!" Back. There That's a great response. Yep. And then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go awesome. long, baby. Go <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, we hope to see yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. Good day, guys. Yeah. Well, we did get some interaction there. Hope the camera is still uh, on here. A little interaction, uh, some Catholic guys. I say it doesn't matter what religion you're, it's like what's in your heart, you know, it's like. <sighs> there are some friendly Catholics, there are some friendly everythings. Usually, I think most people just want you to uh, AE lock. just want you to join there like you know come to our church come to our church come. Yeah. usually that's what they say when i meet people or have you tried this church have you tried <laughs> i know i've given my opinion i think uh church is uh it's kind of let's see what god says about church how about that instead of my opinion i love church it's wonderful it's wonderful for the people it's designed for not stevie stevie wants to go he can't Okay, well, that's what God was saying on that one. Because there's my opinion and then, uh, you know, what God, they always correct me. So I don't think they say I can't have an opinion. They just think my opinion's not very good. I don't know what else to say about that. We love everyone. This is God speaking. We love everyone. God loves everyone. 
especially you, the viewer. <laughs> they love, they don't pick, it's not pick and choose. It's not, we love one <coughs> person over another. That's why I get the weird conversation with God about, you know, do they help, um, let's say bad people. And they say, we don't see it that way. Don't, you, you have your standard. God has a different standard. Probably not. <laughs> I know the Bible says, you know, that God loves everyone and uh, has a lot of sayings about stuff when people repent. Angels rejoice. And the sun shines on the evil and the good equally. And they do not rejoice in the death of the wicked. So I, I started getting, I wouldn't say the whole Bible, but, you know, you know, I wanted to figure it out. There's another thing for me to figure out. What's the truth here or there? Is it, where is it? Is there a truth here, truth there? Where is it? Where is the truth? Yeah, there's no definition of God in the Bible. In there, it's not in there. But philosophers, that's the thing that philosophers say, you know, God... They said I can talk about this, yeah. Philosophers have a definition of God. I'll put that. And they said, I just watched a video, they said, you know, God created everything. But not according to, not on my belief system, it's more like it's, everything's just happening. There's no one behind the wheel sitting back watching it. I don't know. There's no one at the control desk on this. <laughs> and they can't explain it because people want an explanation and there's no, there is no explanation. There's only beliefs, you know. And uh, people, I, I believe stuff that I look back and I'm like, how did, why did I believe that? Because it was convincing to me at the time. I don't know. God can, God help, I say God helps people get what they want, and that includes a belief system. And it may, may not make sense to us. Yeah, and we're, I don't know, will science ever figure out how our minds work? They, they gave me a weird saying, I don't know if this makes sense at, or, at all, but they said people have thoughts they don't think. And I'm like, I'm going to have to think about that one. They have thoughts. Because if I ever say God speaks to me, they, they immediately correct me and they say, no. You have thoughts. Yeah. And they say there is no God, you know, like a entity type thing somewhere. Uh, in some other dimension or the source or where, you know, who knows what. That's a belief, because you can't, we well, can't prove it. You can't prove it. That's, people are like, what can you prove? What can you prove? Uh, you don't have, and God says, it's life's not about proving everything. Like, you know, did Jesus, uh, what happened in the tomb? You know, whatever. I don't know if every, everyone's clear on that, what exactly happened there. Because, uh, when I was speaking to Mary, she told me about these miracles, like the Guadalupe one, but then she also said it's supposed to be something people believe in, not have all the correct, um, this exactly happened here and this exactly happened there. So. I'm not sure. I have no clue. I don't know. But they just tell me you don't know what God can. And plus, God would know, like, exactly how to make it work. Because I said, you know, I think God is behind UFOs and Bigfoot and stuff. And the, the joke is, why are they always blurry and kind of out of focus? Because <laughs> God would obviously know that who's filming them and how clear it is. Because they're, they're seeing it just through people's, seeing it just like people are seeing it. They feel everything we feel. 
see everything we so they can go like oh i should look over here like they'll just make someone say i just felt like stopping and looking and and i looked up and i saw something it's like yeah god got you to do that but it's not like the god of any i've said this over and over, it's not the god of any religion it's just the what's in us reality they said they don't like my terms the, the illusion of reality they said no no it's just it's just reality it's just reality or it's just where i make assumptions about what reality is how it should work how it should function we all do you know like like god should not just start speaking to people or something like that and or god should reveal them we say like god should just reveal himself to everyone Reveal yourself, God, where are you? I know you're hiding out around here. Where are you? Come on, show yourself. I think he's down there. The search will continue tomorrow. We'll get out here and find God. We're gonna find him. Where is he? All right, we're at 31 minutes already. Man, I just go on and I just ran about nothing. So I just want to say, tell everyone I love them and have a great day.